In this video, we'll be seeing how to set up a robust firewall on your Linux and protect your computer from 99% of inbound attacks that your computer will ever face and we'll do it in under 5 minutes. There is one overlooked setting on your Linux system right now that has left you wide open to hackers and if you just toggle one little switch, it has the potential to make your system untouchable. Firewall is one of those things that makes a huge difference in your computer's security. But what exactly is a firewall? A firewall is a smart gatekeeper on your Linux system. Every time information tries to come in or go out to the internet from your device, the firewall checks it against a list of rules and if it's safe, lets it in. And if it doesn't meet the criteria, the firewall blocks it. Basically, it's a security tool that runs in the background quietly and monitors and controls incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predefined rules. To understand and effectively use firewalls, we have to understand this little concept of what exactly network traffic is. Whenever your computer sends or receives data over the internet or a network, it's called network traffic. And there are two kinds of network traffic. Outbound traffic is when your computer initiates a connection to the outside. For example, when you open a browser and visit a website, you're sending an email or running a system update, it's usually safe as you are the initiator. Inbound traffic is when another computer tries to connect to yours. The example for this would be someone trying to connect to your system via SSH, a multiplayer game server sending match data to your system, or a hacker scanning your system for open ports. This is where the danger comes from. We don't even like it when we get unsolicited calls on our phone. We are definitely not gonna like unsolicited incoming calls to our computer. We are going to use a firewall to block unsolicited incoming connections, meaning random strangers on the internet cannot ping or poke your machine for weaknesses. Now firewalls can get quite complex and complicated for the uninitiated, but a tool called UFW which stands for Uncomplicated Firewall uncomplicates firewalls. Yeah, it's in the name itself. This has a graphical interface called GUFW and it's pre-installed on some Linux distributions. And if it's not, you can install it using the commands given in the description below. It's not on Ubuntu, so let's go ahead and quickly install it. Basically, it's a graphical interface for configuring IP tables, the more complex underlying Linux firewall. This gives you a simple, intuitive way to manage your firewall without the command line. You can open it by searching for firewall configuration in your applications menu. When you launch it, you'll be prompted to enter your password because it requires administrative privileges. And this is the user interface. And if you simply toggle this status switch on, you're set. You don't need to do anything else. The firewall is now active and running on your computer and your device is now protected from incoming assaults. This firewall gives you four different actions that you can configure it to take based on predefined rules. Allow obviously allows your connection to go through. Outgoing connections are allowed because when you want to connect to the internet, the firewall lets your request through. Deny will deny the request. So if someone tries to connect to your computer from outside, firewall will deny that request. There's another option here, reject. Using this option will prevent the outside actor from connecting to your computer, but it will let them know that the connection request has been rejected. You generally don't want to use this. You want to use deny which will just stop and disregard the request. In most cases, this is better than using reject. There's also a limit action that is used to either throttle or reject connections after too many attempts in a short period of time. This is specially useful to protect your system against brute force attacks, like when somebody is trying to connect to your computer and break a password. But we won't use this as we have already set incoming requests to deny. This firewall offers different profiles like home, work and public. Now these are predefined rule sets that allow you to quickly switch between different sets of rules depending on your environment, whether you are connected to the home Wi-Fi or your office work Wi-Fi or a public Wi-Fi. Now that the firewall is up and running, all incoming requests will be automatically blocked. But you don't necessarily want to block all the incoming traffic. If you remote into your system from another device, you want to allow SSH or if you are running a server on your computer, you want to allow incoming HTTP and HTTPS. And certain multiplayer games would also require that you explicitly allow the incoming traffic. If you SSH into your computer and you set up a firewall on that computer, you need to set up a rule to allow SSH here or you're going to lock yourself out. I regularly use torrent clients to download Linux distributions and I will quickly show you how to allow it to pass through the firewall. Move over to the rules tab and click on plus. You can directly use the pre-configured rules here or if you know the port number of a service, you can also use the simple tab. 
and you can use the advanced tab to allow our rule to connect to a particular IP address as well. We will use the pre-configured one. I want to allow transmission to communicate in both ways. And once selected here, just click on add. This firewall that we have enabled here can also be quickly controlled by some simple Linux commands. sudo ufw status gives you the current status of the firewall. You can disable the firewall by running sudo ufw disable and then enable it back by running sudo ufw enable. That's it. You have now successfully set up a firewall to protect your Linux systems from unwanted incoming connections. This is a lightweight yet powerful technique that provides robust security with minimal hassle. But I do want to finish off by saying that a firewall is not a magic shield. Just because you have enabled a firewall doesn't mean your system is invincible. Yeah, it does protect you from unsolicited incoming attacks, but it don't protect you from malicious websites, phishing emails and unsafe downloads. The firewall doesn't inspect what you willingly let in. If you click on shady links, download unknown software or run unknown scripts, you might bypass the firewall yourself. So be careful and use sound judgment. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and also leave me a big thumbs up. And if you're interested in learning up your Linux skills, the link to my course Linux Mastery Express is given in the description below. It's designed to teach you Linux and take you from zero to zero in the shortest amount of time possible. You'll be using Linux like a pro within a matter of hours. So definitely check that out. Next up, check out the top 15 hottest hacks that will supercharge your Linux desktop's performance to the next level and truly unlock your Linux. It's got some really cool tweaks, so definitely don't miss that. Alright, this is Linux Techs, signing out.